The COVID-19 pandemic and Britain's exit from the European Union are transforming how we move and consume in the UK. Managing investment in transportation in the wake of such unexpected events is challenging. How can the government get it right? And what are the costs of having an outdated transport network? History can teach us some lessons. The division of Germany provides us with a very nice empirical setting where something changed dramatically, the geography of the country, and the government could not react, or at least not completely, because some highway construction had happened before the division. In the plan, the geography of Germany was thought of as the whole country in a west-east orientation, whereas the actual government of West Germany was thinking of the geography of West Germany only. This means that some of the investments that were planned to be built across the inner German border were not made, and the West German government reallocated investments towards the west and towards the north-south axis. I build a model in which goods are traded over space and workers can choose where to live that will allow me to model or simulate the German economy. Think of a grid where there are different regions and there's going to be workers in each region. So these workers can move across space and will decide where to live in order to get higher wages and in order to um, enjoy the places that they like the best. The main idea here is that you want to connect places that trade a lot and you want to connect places that are in the middle of large trade flows because this means that these goods are going to be shipped in a cheaper and faster way. My study shows that West Germany would have been 2% poorer without adapting the highway network. The UK is currently facing massive changes in how we move and who we trade with due to Brexit and the COVID-19 emergency. Anticipating how these changes will shape the UK's economy will be crucial to building the best transport network for the future.